Today we are going to talk about essentialism. So when we say essentialism, uh, what comes into your mind when you hear that word? So essentialism, uh, from its root the word essential, so it gives us an idea about what is needed and what is the basic. It's from its suffix word, relief, attitude, style, etc. And if we are going to sum up with these ideas, we are talking about the belief of what is needed. Uh, but before we talk about what really is essentialism in education, let's first discuss its philosophy. So the term essentialism is an educational philosophy popularized in the 1930s by William Bagley and later in the uh, 1950s by Arthur Bester and Admiral Recover. So as an educational philosophy, it advocates instilling in students with essentials or basics of academic knowledge, skills, and character development. to be a model citizen. The teacher should teach traditional moral values and virtues. Essentialists believe in mastery learning. Essentialists believe that the core knowledge could change. Curriculum of Essentialism. The first one is literature, mathematics, natural science, history, and then foreign literature. Essentialism is a teacher-centered philosophy, so what are the teacher's rules? The teacher teaches discipline and hard work. The teacher is an expert of context knowledge. The teacher is accountable for student learning. Also, the teacher's rule is an expert is to impart essential knowledge and direct focus tasks. When it comes to teaching strategies, so the teacher uh, use instructional strategies, do lectures, implement memorization, ask the students to do the homework, and it is the teacher and the student-centered. A uh, teacher also always required mastery learning. Uh, since we have already discussed the teacher's rule and its strategies, so let's move on to the student's part. Or what are the student's rules? The students should be passive and be ready to learn what the teacher presents to them. The students should listen and learn, and the students should trust the teacher knows best. Why do schools need essentialism in the education system? So first, for the students to acquire basic knowledge, skills, and values. To hopefully transmit the traditional moral values and intellectual knowledge that students need to become model citizens. So we have criticism of essentialism in education. We have the advantage and disadvantage. So the advantage is stability and disadvantage the students take more on the passive rule on their education. And that's all. Have a nice day.